What Now by Rihanna is a great song to learn on the piano. It's got a nice little lick, which uh, you, I'll show you guys in a sec. Uh, and it's actually not too hard. It's sort of like on the easy side of intermediate. So let's get right down to it. First thing I want to show you is that little piano lick that is in the, uh, I guess, the intro. Um, and it's going to be, it's going to sound like this. that loops from there. So uh, what's going on, I'm going to show you the chord progression first because we're going to use that chord progression later and then I'm going to return to that little lick um, because it'll help you learn that lick, all right? So the, the chords that you're, that, that you're basically playing in that lick and also the chords for the verse and this intro part are G minor, a uh, G sharp minor. So you've got G sharp, if you can reach all these, D sharp and a G sharp in your left hand. As always, you can feel free to take some notes out if your hands are uh, not quite long enough to reach all those. Um, and then in your right hand, B, D sharp, and uh, and a G sharp. Uh, actually, hold on. Uh, let's call it a, a G sharp minor seven. So you're going to have an F sharp in your pinky. So sorry for that mess up. You got a G sharp, D sharp, G sharp in your left hand, B, D sharp, and F sharp in your right hand. G minor seven. Okay. So if you'll notice that first chord, well, let me go ahead and show you the rest of the chord. So you've got G minor seven. The next chord is a is a B chord and you're already playing the notes that you need for that B chord. All you have to do is take this G sharp out. So that's your first chord. Your second chord is this, <laughs> easy, B, just your B chord. Then you're gonna move to an, an, an F sharp, all right? So I play it like this, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp in your left hand or some combination of those notes. A sharp, C sharp, F sharp in my right hand. And the reason I do that, and I play it with the two, the three, and the five finger, because it gives me a little more flexibility with these notes. I'm gonna make a dress up uh, tutorial uh, to accompany this that might help you understand some of this stuff. Um, and I'll link to that above. All right, so those three chords are the, are the main chords. If you want, you could throw an F sus four into an F. So what I mean by F, sus, F sharp sus four, you've got this F sharp chord, that's your thor, third chord, third, third chord, and you can slide this, this um, A sharp up to a B and make sort of like an ah and to extend that F sharp chord a little bit. So let me show you what I mean. It's basically three chords. So the, the three chords basically sound like this. those three chords, but you can also play it like this. F sus four, F sharp, F sharp sus four, F sharp. This B, 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 F sharp. F sharp sus four, F sharp. So that's where that F sharp sus four can come in to sort of extend that um, F sharp a little bit more interestingly. Okay, so now that you know those chords for the verse, let me go back and show you that lick because you'll notice it sort of sits right in those chords. So the first part of the lick is this G sharp, B, and that F sharp. So you're playing all the notes except for this uh, D sharp in that G sharp minor seven chord. And you play it like this. You play the bottom two and then the top. Boom, 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 okay? I'll see if I can do that with my fingers out of the way. Bum, 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 bum. Then you go to this, the C sharp, and you do sort of the same pattern. Hold on, gotta sneeze. Wait, it's going away. Wait, it's coming back. Uh, all right, I'll try and go through. You're gonna play this C sharp and this F sharp. Okay, so here it is together, first two parts. <laughs> I told you it was coming. Whew. Bottom two. Okay. Now you get this little last part, which is you drop the thumb to an A, uh, a sharp, and you're gonna just do that once. So A sharp, F sharp, and then C sharp, F sharp. So what's going on there? Let me just make sure, let me play through it, make sure I'm telling you this right. Yeah, so you've got that A sharp, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp, and then, so you've got A sharps, F sharps, and C sharps, and use your ears, it'll sound like this. And when you 
double this C up, when you play that C for the second time, you're going to drop in this B with your thumb. So you've got bum, bum, and then the, the B drops to an A sharp. So watch just that move. And you play that twice. Bum, 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 bum. And back to the beginning. I'll do that part really slow. I think the best thing to do is sort of copy my hands if what I'm saying doesn't make sense. So that's the loop. And then the thing is, if you really want to get really picky, the second time through the loop, it doesn't, it doesn't come back. It goes like this. So we'll say this is the first time through the loop. And here's the second time through the loop. Second time through the loop, I just hang on this. I don't do this little stuff here. I just hang on the, this A sharp, the C sharp, and the F sharp. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. If not, don't worry about it. You can still play the song with just the chord changes if you want to do that. So I've, sh I've shown you the verse and a quick review. G sharp minor, or G sharp minor seven, depending on how you look at it. G sharp minor, B, F sharp, and then if you want optional, F sharp sus four, and back to that F sharp. All right, so that's your verse. Now your chorus is gonna start in that chord that you end the verse in, how convenient. F sharp. What now? Right, or something like that. F sharp, uh, and so I guess I'll show you these notes. F sharp, C sharp, F sharp in your left hand, if you can reach all those. A sharp, C sharp, F sharp in your right hand. You're going to move to a G minor. You've already played this song, this chord, but, I mean, sorry, G sharp minor. So you've got G sharp, D sharp, G sharp, um, B, uh, D sharp, and G sharp. And then to an E, and that's just E, I'm playing E, B, and E in my left hand, G sharp, B, and E in my right hand. And those three chords like that, and you hold that E a little bit longer than the other two, you play through that four times. So. so I'm just playing this loop and I'm dressing it up. And you play that loop four times. All right. And that's most of it. Now you're going to need to know this bridge. It's like sort of a bridge. And the bridge is, it sort of starts as like a pared down version of the chorus. So you play through that G sharp minor chord, and then you go to a B, just like in the chorus, go to that F sharp, just like in the chorus, and you play through that loop twice. So that's the first time, here's the second time. G sharp minor, B to an F sharp. And now, instead of holding that F sharp as long, you know, twice for two beats as you usually do, you're gonna fill up that second beat with a D sharp minor. So D sharp, A sharp, D sharp in your left hand, if you can reach all that. The key is the D sharp. You've got an F sharp, an A sharp, another D sharp in your right hand. And so that's on the fourth beat of that loop. So let me show you what that four chord section looks like. G sharp minor, B, F sharp, D sharp minor, and right back into a G sharp minor. So another one of these loops, B, F sharp, Okay, now the, the last part. Oh, we got a fire drill. Uh, you know what, let's take a time out. Time in, okay, that was annoying. Fire drill over. So the last part you need to know is just G sharp minor, and it's gonna move, oh, let me play this last part for you. It's gonna go. Like that. So you've got that G sharp minor just like before, and you got that B just like you've been having for a large part of this chunk and just like the uh, verse, right? Now the difference is instead of going to that F sharp minor for this last little section, you're going to go to a C sharp. So that's C sharp, G sharp, C sharp in your left hand, F, G sharp, C sharp, we'll call it that. <laughs> um, it's really, it's really a C sharp, E sharp, G sharp. And then 
Uh, let's see where we're here. And then you go to a D sharp, so you slide everything to the right a little bit. Oops, I spit on my keyboard. You've got D sharp, A sharp, D sharp in your left hand. G, A sharp, D sharp in your right hand. Okay? And then you move to an E, and that's basically everything just slides up a half step. So you see this goes here, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Or, if you don't learn that way, E, B, and E in your left hand, G sharp, B, and E in your right hand. And you launch out of that progression right into another chorus section. So F sharp, G sharp minor, E, and you loop through it four times, right? Now the end of the song, that's the only other little catch you need to know, is just three chords, it's just a G, it sounds like this. Making it fancy, but basically it's three chords. G, so G, D, and G in your left hand. B, D, and G in your right hand. I'm giving a little roll, you can if you want. To an A minor, so A, E, A in your left hand. C, E, and A. Or you can think about just, if you have this shape, you just slide it up one white note each and you got your A minor. Now here, we can do that same trick for the third chord, the F. We just slide it down two white notes each. So you've got F, C, and F in your left hand, A, C, and F in your right hand. Play with whatever fingers are comfortable for you. So that's it, that end loop you play four times. Oh, gosh, another, another fire alarm. Time out. Anyway, G, A minor, F, and you play that four times through and that's your end, okay? So that's the whole tutorial. I apologize for the um, interruptions there. It, you know, there's always a whole bunch of surprises at the Rossiti Piano Studio. I don't know what we call this place. Anyway, hope you have a good day. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.